What's up guys? Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. As you can see, Scrappy is away in the garage because it is way too freaking hot to do anything outside with him. But today we're gonna to talk about how the Hot Rod Power Tour West is coming back to the West Coast for the second time. Uh, last year being the first time and I think like 20 something years. Uh, but we'll go over all the details and everything else like that. But even greater news is the website is finally up. I got all my merchandise including this shirt here, the VI6 shirt. I uh, got the Team USA shirt. Also got the OG C10 Stars and Stripes shirt. And there's a ton more merchandise on there. And you can check it out down in my description. I've got the store on my actual YouTube page. If you go down below the video, uh, go to the main page. If you go to veteranidiot.com, it's on there. It's on Facebook, it's on Instagram, it's everywhere. So please, please check it out. All kinds of cool designs, all kinds of cool stuff at really good prices. And if there's anything that you would like to see on any of those shirts, let me know and I'll put one together and I'll throw it on there. Just shoot me a message, let me know, or put it down in the comments what you guys think. So the question is, if any of you are familiar with the Hot Rod Power Tour, actually, you know, let's go back. So the Hot Rod Power Tour uh, started with Hot Rod Magazine. It's mostly been on the East Coast. And basically what it is, it's a tour with a thousand, uh, I think the one over in this la East Coast last month was like a couple thousand, maybe even 3,000 cars. I'm sure it's somewhere around that number. Uh, but anyways, they all go and they go on a tour and hit different spots uh, throughout the U.S., mostly on that East Coast. I think they were uh, Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, and then back or something like that. But anyways, you have several days and several stops. Each one of these stops has activities. Uh, you hit the drag strip, and another one could be a car show, and another one has a road course. And basically, you just take anything that can be deemed a hot rod, whether it's new, old, or anything else like that, and I think it's basically anything you want to take the entire tour on. And you just tour with these guys from spot to spot to spot to spot uh, throughout the week. And I think it's a, an awesome thing and a lot of big people do it and there's a lot of good cars and events and everything else like that. So I think it's a, a great thing. And then now they're bringing it to the West Coast. And so now on the West Coast, last year, I think they went uh, Irwindale up to Vegas and then down to Pomona is what I think they did last year. So it wasn't like a, a crazy long trip, but this year they're going even farther. For this year, it's going to be five days, October 7th through the 11th. And I know that doesn't really count out, but you'll get what I'm saying. Basically, you're going to show up night before or wherever. It's going to be in Pomona for the first day. And the first day, they're going to have drag racing. And so they put this all up on their website, but there isn't any prices. You can't get the tickets or anything yet. That's supposed to be later on in July. So just keep an eye on that website. Check it every day so you can get your tickets. They have different categories for it uh, as far as you want to get into it. But starts in Pomona for that day. You can hit the drag strip, which you cannot do any other day than on that day because they're strictly NHRA. And so it's really cool to be able to take a, a car down the strip. A drag strip uh, is old and as legendary as that drag strip, which you can't do on a normal day. So starts out in Pomona on the first day. And then that night we're going to hightail it down uh, the five. And there may be stops along the way. Sometimes there's museums and stuff like that where you hit checkpoints and stuff like that. But uh, I think that mostly stays with drag and drive. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong with the, whether they do it on the Hot Ride Power Tour. But anyways, we're going to hit the coastal highway, go down to San Diego. You'll know, spend the night in San Diego. And then the next day, on the eighth, you're going to go uh, up to Pechanga Stadium. And so the, there'll be a car show there. I'm assuming there are going to be a lots of merchandise, lots of people, stuff like that, meet and greets and everything else. So you spend the day there at the stadium. And you can either spend the day uh, or spend the night again in San Diego, or you can haul on up to um, Riverside County Fairgrounds, which is in India. So down from Pomona to San Diego, it's like an hour and a half if you don't leave right when all the traffic is going or first thing in the morning. From uh, Pachanga or San Diego up to Riverside uh, County in Indio, I think it's a two and a half hour drive 
Um, I'll put the actual time up here. But anyways, so that drive is a is a decent drive. Um, I think it's only like 100 miles or 97 miles or somewhere around there. Then we'll haul up to uh, Indio, and that's going to be on the 9th, which will be another car show, uh, meet and greet, lots of merchandise, food, stuff like that. You hang out, spend the day there. Uh, later in the afternoon, you can then leave again, or you can spend the night, leave in the morning. Uh, just depends on which... Uh, group you're with or if you're convoying with people there's just going to be like a thousand cars hot rods and classics out on the road at the time so from indio then it's going to go all the way up you go down the 10 and then up um the colorado river to havasu and then now uh, we're going to be staying the night in havasu and then they're going to have another car car show in havasu on the beach and um, it's going to be in October, so the water will probably still be okay. It's probably still going to be like 100 degrees because it's Arizona, and that's how it rolls. Havasu is like 130 degrees during the summer, so <laughs> October is not going to be that much different. But I believe you still be able to swim, which will be awesome. There's a lot of good stuff to see in Havasu. Uh, London Bridge is out there, which was imported from London. Um, that's a cool thing to see, and uh, there are some good, authentic Mexican food restaurants out there. So. Uh, that'll be a cool day. And then for the final leg of the trip, coming all the way down, Havasu, back on the 10, all the way into Phoenix, and then we're going to end up in uh, uh, Chandler at Firebird Raceway for the last day. And uh, that one is going to be put on by Redford, and they are uh, setting up a road course. And so you'll be able to do a road course on the final day for the hot rod power tour it doesn't head back to california after that that's just where it ends up ends up in chandler which is awesome for me because chandler is not too far from me so the biggest leg of the trip is going to be driving out to california and since i don't want to leave a truck and trailer out there i'm going to drive whatever i'm taking on the tour out to california and then uh, start the tour that way and then come back chandler being the final day and uh, the end of the, the power tour. If you ended up hitting all of those um, stops and checkpoints and everything and uh, got the long haul package, then you would end up with a long haul plaque that you were a long hauler. You went through every stop, made it all the entire way. I think the entire thing ends up to be just around 700 miles or just below 700 miles, which is really not bad. I've, I've heard that some of the power tours can be, or dragon drives can be upwards of 1,000, 1,200, somewhere odd miles. So it's really not that bad. I think the biggest thing is it's mostly uh, interstate in the last half of the... Uh, I keep telling you guys just how uh, hot it is out here. Some, some of you don't believe me, but I had a camera overheated halfway through the conversation, so that's the problem. But anyways, it's uh, not that bad of a haul. The question is going to be, what do I think is going to make it? So I thought about taking Scrappy here. It doesn't have AC. It's got 410 gears and it's got a T or T5 world class which uh, the gearing is pretty steep. So it's like 3,200 mile an hour at- What, what, what? Uh, or, <laughs> it's like 3,200 RPM at 70 with this guy. So, I mean, that's not too crazy, but uh, I have to get new tires and stuff like that. These McCurries aren't gonna make it the entire way. Plus they're scary as hell on the highway. So then comes Earl. I think Earl is going to be the one that we'll take. Um, I just need to re-gear the rear end. It's got like 456s in it right now. We need to tone it down. It's at 55 mile an hour. It's like 2,500 RPM. At 65 is 3,200 or something like that. It's just way too much, way, way, way too much for that big block to be spinning like 600 miles. So I need to be able to cruise 60, 65 so I don't get run over on the, uh, the interstate. I think Earl's going to be the one. I'll pick up some gears. We'll do an episode on a gear change on that guy. And then uh, we'll throw it on the highway and see just how it does. It's going to have to go from here in uh, Phoenix all the way out to uh, Ontario or near Pomona. And then start the power tour for there and make it all the way back. So I think Earl will do it though. I think with that sniper uh, kit that's on there, and that 460 is very, very tame. 
I think it'll be perfect. I think it'll do just great. So I think that's what we're going to go with. I know all you want to see is scrappy. Maybe we can get somebody else to drive it out there. Uh, but I just don't know about taking it on this trip. I think the engine would do just fine. I think it's a matter of all the other stuff that it's got going on would be the issue. And the fact that the tires are just going to be expensive to uh, try and make it. So we'll figure that out. And then also, I mean, it really depends on how much merch sells. Hint, 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 hint. Merch equals money equals tires, maybe. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think. It's most likely going to be Earl because I love that truck and I just love cruising it. And uh, maybe we can get somebody else to drive this guy. I'm looking forward to the power tour. I hope you guys are too. And if you end up uh, going to it or wanting to go to it and cruise as well, let me know. Maybe we'll set up a convoy or something like that. Uh, I do have some commitment, so I won't be able to stick uh, too close with somebody else's schedule, but we'll make something work, get something figured out and uh, have a good time while we're out there. I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm so glad that they're bringing it back to the West Coast. I think we are the best coast. Just saying, I've lived on the East Coast for a while. West Coast is, is pretty nice. Water's cold. It's really cold, but it is nice. It is nice. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad they're bringing it back and I hope they keep bringing it back every single year. I can't wait for more information to come out and then the ticket prices and everything else. As of right now, it's those five days. They've already released it. I've set up my hotel rooms and everything else like that. Some of the packages include hotel rooms. It's just how deep you want to go into it. Uh, they also include lunches and everything else. So, I mean, they got something for everybody. Just get out there and drive your hot rod. Also, make sure you look up my merchandise. Spend a lot of time on the website. Really appreciate it. All right, I'm done guilt and tripping you. Check it out. I got a lot of cool designs. Like I said, let me know what you guys think and what you would like to see. And let me know if you're going to the Hot Rod Power Tour West, and if that's something that you want to do. Thanks for watching, and as always, have fun. I'm sorry, Scrappy. I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry.